armed, basically. Yeah, and the people in the government, they they don't have brains. Like, they say the... Jeez, this is the, a rough the, the, crowd here today. Get they, they say the dumbest things, like, about guns. Like, they said that... The one Sh- guy I remember get, said... Get... To, uh, fire two blasts off the balcony with your double That was actually our, the president. Our president. You know, so let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I Welcome to another new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. Today's episode, we are going to be having our father asking us a question about a certain job of what if if what? we had that job. Well, you know what it is. What you know what the question is. Tell yes. us about what the question is. If you were president. You would do this and that. What would you do? What would you do? What would you change? What would it be like if you were freaking president? What laws would you make and what laws would you And And the reason we be careful with this because on a recent episode we did, what were we talking about? What we, when we were younger and now. Just, just, get, just get it going already because he already forgot what no, we're even. I'm, no. You that's set, one. That's one. I know. You already got a doing. That's, that's, no. It's obviously what we were talking about what you want to be when you grow up. And that's how this ties into that. So I came up after that's episode. What I, was, I wanted to say after this, you went there and you went and you looked at me like, "Oh shit, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I don't even know what you're talking about." And this is a kids show. He gets a oops. He gets a he gets a brain oops. fart. Oh, there's not a fart sound on there. What? That that doesn't that wouldn't even make any sense. A fart sound that would be perfect. Oh, all, right, all right, let's get into it. Yeah, so we're we're talking about after that episode about what they want to be when they grow up. I was thinking. What would it be like if they were president? If they had the power to be president, what would they do? What would they change? So let's maybe Wait, just start before with you. We get, before we get into it, who wants a starting joke? Oh, Come on, no. Man. I never oh, do the no. starting joke. You well, always do starting Because you that. forget. You have your little I brain farts. I was literally farts. about to do and that. And every time she says it, you're like, oh, I was just about to do that. And then- when we talk about the president stuff, she'll probably come up with some brilliant idea and you'll be like, oh, I was just about to say it. You ever meet those people who every time you say something, they say. All right, they, I'm doing the first joke. Uh, we've already established she is. She had her whole presentation. No. All right, what you got? What's the joke? How do you fix a cracked pumpkin? Oh my God. A cracked pumpkin? That's so bad. Hold on, say it again. Staller. What? How do you fix a cracked pumpkin? Cracked pumpkin. A crackhead. A crackhead? Crackhead's head? Give it cocaine? I don't know. Cracked pumpkin. Shit, man. These are hard these days. How do you fix a cracked pumpkin? Lantern. Jack-o'-lantern. Halloween. Smash it. Guts. Pumpkin pie. Am I on to anything? (laughs) I was eyeing it at number 10. (laughs) That's messed up. Screw you guys. That is so messed up. Like you had no faith in me that the second you asked, you're already eyeing the button you're going to hit for when I fail. That's All right, give me a hint. I don't have it. Wait, wait, say say the question again. Quickly. Too much pause here. How do you fix a cracked pumpkin? How do you fix a cracked pumpkin? Give me a hint. I have no freaking clue. A hint? What do you call a big field of pumpkins? A patch. You patch it. A pumpkin pumpkin patch. Oh, my God. Is that that 0.5? Yeah, I got it still. I got it. Okay, I guess it's 0.5. No, yeah, it's 0.5. I got 0.5 points out of one. I'm keeping track today. Okay, let's get into it. Really? All right. So if you were president, let's start with you, really? Midge, and then whatever you, you whatever we were talking about. Like we're just gonna make this a discussion because I'm sure we all have some similar thoughts on something. So comment down below what your thoughts are. What would you change if you were president? You first, Midge, but also listeners out there. If you became president, what would you do different? What would be different? What would you change? So, Midge, what you got? And this is also a perfect conversation to have with the kids, right? Of course. Like, why? Why wouldn't you like think about where are their heads at? What do they think needs to be changed in the world? in the state, in the country, in the day, in their house. Like, I bet you some kids would say some funny things. I'm curious to hear some of the things you're going to have to say. I'm pretty sure I have an idea of a lot of the stuff you're going to say when I think about it, but I bet some kids would say stuff like, if I was president, there would be ice cream for dinner every night. Like, they would and say something candy. like that. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, goofy stuff. But we're, 
We're going more serious. I want to hear like what you really, really would do. Mitch, if I was president, I would have to get a million dollars every day. No, I'd be earning one million dollars every single year. That's it. Oh, yeah. we were. I don't, I'm not going to say any names or anything, but snitches end up in ditches. We were reading this book. It was a used book, and someone was writing in it, and it was like a do-it-yourself book. So I had like these questions, and it said. When I am older, I want to make this much per year, and I don't know what this kid was thinking, $100. but he wrote $100 a year. <laughs> I, I hey, don't even know. He's got high hopes, man. When you're a kid, when I was a kid, 100 bucks was like a million bucks. If I got 100 bucks, I was rich. That but doesn't that, make any sense. In your head, bucks was a million you know bucks. they asked, there was, I forget who told me this story. I think Tom Bilyeu, the, owner, the former owner of Quest, and he sold Quest for $1 billion. Wait, Tom Billy used to own Quest? He's the founder of Quest. Yes. That's pretty funny. These kids know who Tom Billy is, but they wouldn't know who LeBron James was if, if we didn't, LeBron didn't go to James, school. LeBron James was like a, like a baseball player. Like a soccer player, right? He baseball? was a pianist. I just want to say penis because like when someone plays a piano, they call him a penist. So they it's call a it. pianist? That's, no, they say, oh, he's a pianist. Anyway. A, what? Anyway. I call it a pianist. Anyway, so... Tom Bilyeu says he was doing some work for like some inner in some inner city, like in some ghetto or something with these these kids that came from like, I don't know, I don't know if they didn't have fathers or what it was, but he was talking to them and doing this these interviews them for a job. And it was something about if you could have one wish, what would it be? Can I guess? Yeah. I'm I asked I asked I asked this to my friends at school too. Million dollars. Million dollars. Bingo. Like uh, one. And not parents. One hundred. Parents oh. that love them. Oh my God, Jesus. You said no father. Oh you are so God. ruthless. This is just, oh, that went downhill fast. Holy shit. Anyway. What? 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 Exactly. That, that doesn't, uh, I mean, I guess. Whatever. It, yeah. it is like that answer is like a what? But no, it's actually a good way of thinking the things, I guess. But think about it. Oh, they wow. could think for anything. They could wish for anything. A million dollars, like Money not maker. even two million dollars, not a billion dollars. So one million dollars to them. Money printer. One one billion one million dollars is the I same as way. infinity amount of dollars to, to them. That's like the way they saw it. That's the limiting thought they had in their head. Like a million dollars is considered like unlimited, basically a money maker. When basically. shit nowadays, million dollars <laughs> after taxes. If you just have a million dollars of a salary after taxes, you ain't got much left to to really live. You can live, but two hundred dollars. It'd be more like surviving. So what would your wish be? A money maker? Same. Same here. Money maker? No. What would your wish be? If you say dad, we're fighting after this. A dad? <laughs> the same that you said for the other ones? What would your what would your wish be? My wish would be probably to have a farm. I've always wanted to have a farm. A farm? Like a homestead. A farm? Like with That'd animals and, and uh, gardens and orchards. And- Mine would be, it's kind of a cheat, but my wish would be to have unlimited unlimited wishes. Look at that. Oh, oh or, right. That was another one. Or an unlimited wish machine or something. That. But if it had to be like a specific thing, I don't even know what it is. But let's get on to the present. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of the same thing. If, if you could, no, you if you could become. I literally said, said money maker like 10 times. Oh, kid, so is just, that- kid just thinks about money. <laughs> Ooh, you gave he just, yourself a doing. No, he doinged you. That's right. Wow, he doinged the doinger. Ha! All right, so if you were president, Midge, what's one of the first things that you would do if you were president? What's something you would do, one change? The first things I would do, I have like a huge list. The first thing I would do, and this kind of ties together, fitness and nutrition. I would encourage working out. I would encourage... Eating healthy, I would encourage like where just in general to the world, or how would you? How do you? When you say encourage, how do you encourage? You're the president. How do you encourage the entire United States? That what do you do? How do you go about it? How would you make it happen? Like how do you actually implement that as the president? Just saying, I would encourage. What do you do? Make the advertise like small gym businesses so they become a big brand and advertise the big brands even more and. You know, during, during the corona, gyms got shut down because it was unhealthy. weren't they weren't, remember, weren't crucial to how staying we open. Drove across the country to put all that tape on the floor, mm-hmm. and then we had to like take it all off a few months later, and we and sold then, it. That was like right in the middle of it. I actually got sick from doing that because the floor. I, I I remember I had to keep taking breaks because I kept getting headaches 
from that when we were taking off the pieces of the floor, like the the old like. No, that was when we were closing up. That was a yeah. totally different time. Yeah, I know. After that. What's the point? Just because we had to take off the tape. And that has to do with the present? That's you doing no, the no, present? No, 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 I'm, no, no, I'm no. confused. Taking that's off tape while that's what, being a present. That'd be the first thing you do. Yes, exactly. I did not deserve yes, that. Yes, you do, because that had nothing to do with anything. You're just talking about taking okay, off tape true. and you got a headache. That's true. About okay, this one, one day I... What's that? Do you guys hear that? Did Venom oh, it just, it just, One day I sneezed. But that's what yours is like. We're talking about present. You're like, oh, right, one day right, we take a right, tape. All right, can he we get back to the point? All right, Mitch. So you, Tyson, he was just imitating you. So Mitch, exactly. He has two doings. Two doings. And you got one, though. He gave you one. So Mitch, well, how do you yeah, implement that? The you said advertise it. How else could you implement that? What do you I think? What do you think? I think I can implement Mitch. it and advertise it. Let's see. Maybe by making some sort of law like... If oh, you know, I don't even um, want to hear this law where you're going with this. If you're over 100 pounds, you, your oh, sentence. Oh, you. I actually weigh like 100. Okay, go on. If you're over like. All right, let's just. That, that, <laughs> yeah. there's 230 no laws. pounds. What do you mean over 230? That is so dope. That is ridiculous. Over 230 the pounds. strong men weigh sense. like 250. Exactly. All right, but how, no. How would you? Pounds. A law is not going to work for the, for health. <laughs> and it's just ain't going to work. Ow. But how can you? You said you want to encourage. How can you encourage? Who do you think is the best people to encourage to? Hmm. This is a group conversation. Oh, oh. The the big bone. No. No. Then who? Why are you leaning over like that? And like you're sitting it's, on it's my lap I need, practically. I need to lean into the mic. So you want to encourage, so you want to, so if someone is, you want to wait till someone's unhealthy to encourage them. No, encourage kids. Ding, ding, ding. Like. Doing, doing, doing. Exactly. Like how about in making it oh, more like. the doing, doing, doing. How am I having to give this answer for you guys? Like. That. You're right. When you're the ones that told me this off air before we started, I'm having to give you your own answers. That is unacceptable that I'm having to give you your own answers. But well, I'm the president. That okay, doesn't even know your own answers. The what is so the kids in school, you said you'd encourage it more in school. You teach more about it because they didn't teach you hardly anything about it. Back when I was a kid, all they would teach is that food pyramid. It was like a useless food pyramid. Oh yeah, we did that too. And we did the same thing with animals. They would, I don't know. I don't know why they were teaching us like the, the, not the chain of command, the food gosh, chain of command. Just, just get the doing ready. Cause he, I don't know what, no one knows. He doesn't even know. The what animal it's. chain or the food, no, the food chain, food chain. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We're talking about educating kids on fitness and nutrition, and you're talking about the, the chain of command. The chain of command is in the military, like you're who you report to, to and you're talking, it doesn't even make sense. One time in school, there was this kid who was there, no, not in, a, a, not in school, but in a book I was reading, they were in school, but there, this kid was in school. I don't remember what book it was, but the teacher was explaining the food chain and how hamburgers were made. And well, so a cow, so the cow is born. This is the long version of the short version. Um, there's only one version and that happens to be the long one. Just kidding. It's not that long. So the cow is born and then the cow grows up and then meanwhile, so when the cow is born, it's taken away from its mother. So the mother will just be used for producing milk for stores. So the baby cow, it grows up. And they bring the baby cow, and then they let it grow up, and then they slaughter it. And then we know how hamburgers are made. What What is going on here? That what is this whole long story? And why are you think it's so funny when you're saying they slaughtered it? What the hell is going on here? Kids nowadays, man. <laughs> All right. So, That's all right, gone. what else would you, what would you do if you were president? What's something you would do, Tyson? Something that I would do is the, about the gun laws. The gun laws are just scattered around. They're not e equivalent in all the states. Equivalent. Every single state should have the exact same gun laws. I actually have some. Move your thing forward. And you won't have to lean I in so much. Have, wait, what thing? Your whole seat. Oh, okay. okay. You're way Hold back on. there. That's why you're leaning in like so crazy. All right. Okay, that's a little better. 
Okay. So. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. I have a little statistics here. So, it, some some states, you can only have up to 10 rounds in your magazine or 15 rounds. And we're in one of those here in California. Yes, and where we California. came from, New York, was also one of those. Yeah. So, the states are, I'm pretty sure it's like around 16 or we 10. Need, we're not going to need here all I'm 16. just going to say the man, main ones. California, Colorado, New York, New Jersey, and Washington. All the rest of them were Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Maryland. We don't need a whole list. No one's listening. No one's going no like, no to pay that. attention to that. Just say how many there are. Like, that's overkill. Right. There's 13 and states. And you know that the ones that have, usually the states that have the, the strictest gun laws. Have the worst gun crimes. Exactly. Have the worst violence, the worst murder rates, the worst crime, the worst violent crimes. Col- Colorado actually has the worst. But then that's up there with Because like, think, if you were a criminal, laws. if you were a criminal, are you going to follow the laws? New no. York City. No, because everyone is gonna have the people that do follow the laws are gonna are gonna have ten rounds, and the criminals are gonna have thirty. So who wouldn't 50. I would who wouldn't want to go into those places to be I crime? Know. Like I was a criminal, that's where I'm going towards, knowing that I'm gonna be out- outpowering them because I'm not gonna follow those dumb laws. So I'm gonna go there and be that. That's the best place to be a criminal's place. Like they're telling you where people are underarmed, basically. Yeah, and the people in the government, they they don't have brains. Like they say the jeez, this is the, a rough the, the, crowd do here you today. They, they say the dumbest things, like, about guns. Like, they said that the one Shh, guy I remember get, said. Get, t- uh, fire two blasts off the balcony with your double That was actually our, the president. our president. He I said know. if you want to scare, if someone breaks into your house, all you got to just go out on the balcony with your double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts in the air. And they'll think twice. No, they'll actually think, wait a minute, you have a double barrel shotgun. You just fired two blasts in the air. You're now out of ammo. And you only had two in the first place. And it's just a double barrel shotgun, which is the worst possible. And it's possible. also illegal to shoot off your balcony. 100%. You're going to jail You're going for like to jail 10 for years, probably, if you do that. You just go on your balcony and just fire two blasts in the air. Like, like what, I, I actually kind of want to do that now. What's the firearm safety rules? Like, What's one of them? Aim at, only aim your weapon. At what you're intending to shoot. So you can't just go randomly shoot in Isn't the air. Isn't what you're intending to destroy? Shoot, it, destroy, shoot, whatever. Destroy, same thing. So shooting in the air, what yeah. were you intending to destroy? I don't the even bird, know. A bird? The, the bats? God? Exactly. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. That's... You just go down. You go straight to the like barrel, bottom of the barrel on these things. And you miss it. <laughs> like, and that's the advice. Yeah, and, and going from That's the that. advice from our president Going on how to defend that. your home that is some top-notch security defense we should we should practice it every night just to make sure we're good at that <laughs> every night we should go on our balcony fire two blasts into the air and when the police come we just tell them no 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 the, our, we're our, following the, the president's, the president's orders. orders he taught us how to, to defend our home this is from the uh, an order from the president of the united states of course we can't get in trouble for that yeah and we wanted to just practice it because we want to make sure we're efficient and proficient in firing our two blasts in the air when the criminals like, come even at the at a gun range if you do that you get kicked out of the gun range, shooting your fire two blasts in the air. Like you can't just shoot in some random no. direction. And also going from that, that if you shot into the air, you'd go to prison for years. He also said those damn. <laughs> Holy shit! He that also wasn't enough. He also said those damn AR fourteens. Those things are dangerous, and they're yeah. wet war. There is no such thing as an AR fourteen, my friend. They are weapons of and war. And they also, and another guy also said one time that an AR, a semi-automatic AR. Can shoot thirty rounds a second. Um, a, semi- a fifty cal can't even shoot that fast. Thirty rounds a second. I saw one video one time. A guy said an AR can shoot thirty. A semi-automatic AR. And then, then they call it semi. You should be. You're a trigger. Then they call it. They, they've also called it semi fully automatic. You shoot those semi fully semi- automatics, semi- or they say fully fully semi automatics. How could it be fully if it's semi? And then they say the, another good one was. You put something like thirty. You don't need thirty clips into your magazine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some putting guys. thirty, put thirty clips into your magazine. That do- first of all, who says clips? Oh, they only say clips in the movie. Yeah, they only say clips. Or when I need another clip. And when someone's just joking around, toss me a clip. And then definitely, you can't put thirty. Also, I'm pretty sure that like thirty, forty. I tried years it. Ago? I tried it. You didn't know I tried it last time we were at the range. I what? tried it. I. So a clip, I, I looked it up because I wasn't sure what a clip was, just to be sure. It was a magazine. You seriously? So I took 30 clips and I tried to jam them into my one magazine and it, it, it didn't work. I was following the advice of the, those are the ones that are making laws. You know, those are the lawmakers. Those are the people who create these laws in our country. And they're telling you 30 clips, 
Fire two rounds. You in. can't even fit 30 bullets in a magazine around here. Fire two rounds. No, not two rounds into the air. Fire two blasts Blast. into the air. So, all right, what would you change Blast. about the gun laws then? If you could- can you stop Blast. with the... No, that actually fits. Okay, so, yeah, it's good. What would, what, what would you change about the gun laws if, if you change... If there were gun laws, all right, let's... Even even if they're gun laws, what would you what would you change about them or do with them or whatever? I would make them rational, like like <laughs> what rational man? I would. You could have as many bullets as you want in your magazine. There, are, there's no such thing as a fin. Our automatics, I think, would still be illegal because that's like the military should only be able to use those. Why? Well, then why can only, now now you're going now you're going according to their arguments. The military should only be able to use them. You just Shot no, yourself in the no, foot. No, I meant the automatic ones. But why? Why should the only then why shouldn't only the military be able to use the assault rifles? You know I'm gonna put you on the hot oh, seat wow. here. We're not gonna let you off the hook here. We're gonna we're gonna get to yeah. the bottom of it. So why should only the military be able to have automatic? I think if if there should be a reason why something like an actual logical rational reason, if you're gonna say all right, automatic is shouldn't be allowed to civilians or maybe you should have to get a license to do it because what do you have to do when you get a gun uh, a carry permit oh you have to go through the whole like screening process but what do you have to do actually at the range with the gun you, you want to carry shoot it yeah you have to show that you can shoot that particular gun yeah that'd you be good carry. for a license oh, that actually be the good guy who was doing the thing yeah we don't we don't, have to talk we, don't about we don't have to talk about that maybe we can but but maybe automatic, you had to get some extra license to do it because automatic if, if you haven't shot automatic is or you have shot automatic and you saw that ak automatic AK you shot in Machine Guns Vegas, it's not that easy to control. You could see, I could see how someone, there could be a lot more shooting accents if just any random person could walk out of the store, go into Dick's Sporting Goods and get an automatic mm-hmm. rifle. It's different than a, a semi autic So maybe they should be available, but there should be an extra, I don't know, like, certification yeah. or something to show that you're not going to go and accidentally shoot up the place because those things go wild on some, especially some of the smaller yeah, ones. I remember at Machine Guns Vegas, those things. But let's say there was a rule. All right. Let's even say there's a rule on ammo. You can only have a 30-round mag. Let's just say. Yeah, let's just let's just make it. And I'm just saying. I'm not saying that should be law, but yeah, let's just yeah. say that, all right, that's the law that's there and you can't do anything about that. And then there's a law on, all right, automatic weapons. You need a extra certification to do it. Where should those laws be? Right? Which states should have those laws? All of them. But why? So it's the same? I know. You can't even answer that question. I know. Like, what's the point? I, I don't get it. Because like in stuff. California, so you have all these gun laws. You have to wait 10 days before you buy a gun. And then after that, you have to wait another 30 days. But then the second you walk over the border into Arizona, you're in total freedom. You could get whatever you want. So exactly. So there's different laws for different states. Like literally take two steps over an imaginary line that they say this is a different state. And now the your your go from being a felon, like literally a felon, being to being a free man. To being a free man, exactly. Freaking nuts. And wait, what were you saying before that about California? I was gonna say something else. I don't remember what. What were you saying? Oh, I was we were talking about how you would go to prison for ten years. No and that's something you were no. just saying about the about the laws and they're different different no they're, so they're, how the laws are different in the states I don't remember what it was all right so the laws would be the same from state to state yeah because one state you're a criminal that a state you're a good guy and you know what happens if you become a, if you become a convicted felon you can't buy a gun you can never buy a gun the rest of your life and you, get, you can't own a gun and all of the guns that you have are what's the word with the C that Mitch. means somebody take and if you do own guns when you're convicted, well, it's also there to gun. look to be pointing at it, not to go there to then go like this because then look how I sound. See the difference? That's a big difference. So when you're convicted of being a felon, also all of the guns you have confiscated. Is that the word? Confiscated. They'll confiscated. take them all. They, yeah, they'll confiscate all of your firearms. So how many states have only ten round mags? You said how many states? Thirteen? Ten? I, I think it, around, around thirteen. Yeah. About, around? Or. I, a little a time to do the research is before the show. 14, 14, 14. Sorry. That is crazy. And so then you step over the border and you're illegal. All right, Midge, what's into something else you change if you became- Oh, wait, I just want to say one more quick thing what? about the fitness and nutrition. So the- Wait, that was my thing though. I know, I, I just want to I just, I just say one quick little st- statistic thing. Statistics. So the big boned people- there, 2.6 billion people overwide. That's 38 percent of the population. 
worldwide, so, sorry, worldwide. Overwide. What did sorry. You say Midge, overweight. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. 38. Wait. There you go. I was going to say over double I meant to say year. worldwide. 38% of the population are overweight or obese. What percent? 38% of the population worldwide, worldwide. 2.6 billion people. Are what? Are, are overweight, overweight or, or, obese. or obese. So what? So that means obese alone is less probably. Yeah. I thought obese was like 30 and I thought, oh, I thought just in this country, it's something like. Yeah. In, in this country, it's like 40%. Or no, like thirty or forty percent is like o- obese, and then like fifty or sixty percent is good research. There you're done. Is like fifty or sixty or something, maybe something or other. Tighten up your numbers, kid. Tighten up your numbers, kid. We want yes. we want Another straightforward thing, facts. We want truth over facts. We want truth over was it? And I'm not Science done. Over fiction. Science over fiction and truth, truth over facts. facts. And I'm not done. So it was it, in. By 2035, if the numbers keep growing like they are right now, it'll be like 4.6 billion people by 2035. That's what it said. And that's and like that's more than like half, half the population. Yeah. By then. By but, then but, but then the population will probably be over like 9 billion or something like that. Because more, more people are born than die every second. Yeah. Every it's, so yeah, every it turns day. out that also two people die Every single second, two people die every single second. Two people die. Right I saw now. the statistics. People die every single. Right what? Now. What was the other one we were talking about? And somebody died right now of. Oh my God. Before we go on with my second thing, who wants a joke? But that's worldwide. That's all right. Not what do we got? US. Okay. Why is tennis such a loud game? Oh my God. What's the question? Why is tennis such a loud game? Why is tennis such a loud game? It's on a court, a spike, a ball, line, rack, because it's a racket. Yep. No. Yes. Loud racket. Else? No, that's it. They play it. with rackets. That's it. Racket. It's Everyone is raising racket. a racket. Everyone is raising a racket. Yeah. Let's say everyone's raising a racket. Like, I got it. I got it. That's yes, a point. Yes, he got that's it. That's a racket. We're at 1.5 out of 2. 1. That's good. 1.5. Wait, can we points. do another joke? Because I have some good ones No, we don't want a here. second. We need to get on with this because right, we only yeah, have yeah. a There's certain no amount of time. Backs. Midge, what you got? What else we got for the president? What else would you do? What else would you change? What else would you, laws did you have? I still have a lot more left. If you became president. Well, taking taking too long with all the other nonsense. What do we got? Okay. Next thing I would do if I was president, one little fact Midge. here. One little thing I would do is if kids are not in school like us, you don't need to pay school taxes. You don't. That's rational. All right. So what if you don't have a car? Should you have to pay taxes that build the road on your street yes. or down the street? No. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her right now. No. no. She said no. You say yes. All right. Why yes? Because like it's your neighborhood. It's where you live. You'll probably drive on that street one day. It's just reasonable to. Who says probably? How could you say someone's going to drive oh. on that? Maybe they're never going to have a car. But still, it's like in your neighborhood, it's for other neighbors, other people. So wouldn't pay paying school be for other neighbors and other people? I'm not saying one way or the other. I just want to like push the, I want to play both sides of it to hear what you guys have to say about it. Why do you say no, they shouldn't have to fix the road? Because sure, if you do, it's helping other people, but you're not using that. That is not something that affects you. It's, it's, it's not really selfish, but... It's not helping. It's not selfish, but it's difference. not helping. You hear that difference? Oh, yeah. You hear that difference? It's not oh. selfish. Especially when your voice is real squeaky. Yeah. So it's not selfish, but it's not helping other people because that doesn't affect you. You don't. But then when you're also like this, you, all wiggly and stuff, you miss it. We don't you hear either. don't use that road. So why would you All right, you let me ask you this question. Are you ready? Because you know I always got a Johnny Cochran that shit. Yes, we are ready. You know I'm always going to Johnny Cochran that shit. Both sides. What are you going to do? Let me ask you. Your house is on fire. Oh my gosh. Burning. Wait, do, 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 I, have, a murder, do, I, have, do I have enough time to get there's the a hamsters? Murder, there's a murderer in your house. Someone banging on your door ready to knock your door down. Ready okay. to uh, shoot some holes through it. You call it. You just like, that's your button of the day. Times. Stop. All right, so the fire department's on their way. Your house is burning down. It's just a little fire now, but it's spreading. 
Do you want them to have a smooth road to get your house or do you want it to be a dirt smooth road, road with a bunch of pot, potholes that have never been repaired and there's junk in the middle of the road. No one ever cleaned it. People's garbage is in the street because there's no one's getting paid and you're not paying the taxes for it. You're not driving down it. But don't Yes, that's why I said yes. That's not why you said yes. I said that. You said it because... Or because I, I just said yes because I wanted to. What do you think, Mitch? Now the fire department, the fire department is going to crash on the potholes and now the fire truck You're is on fire. You're still going to utilize it when you need it. The garbage trucks have to drive down that pothole to pick up your garbage. The fire department, the police, the mailman has come. Don't you want your mail? You want your Amazon little Barbie dolls on time, don't you? I, 48 hour prime shipping. I want my letter to reach it's, grandma. It's, it's I more, sent her a letter and it's out. Well, you don't pay tax on those roads. It ain't going to happen. And I'm all for not paying a lot of taxes, but some things I get why there's tax on or how you should. But like the military, the military, the military taxes, for example. If, if, yeah, if they were Don't using it the right way tax? and not leaving billions of dollars of weapons and tanks and guns behind for Do our you enemies have car to take over. taxes? You have tax on everything. You literally so car taxes. You have tax on, listen to this, you, no, you get tax on your paycheck. When you get paid, you get income tax. They take part of your paycheck out. 30, 40, 50%, depending on how, the more you make, the higher percentage they take out of your paycheck. So they take- Because that means more for them. Yeah. So they take, it's not a bar of soap. So- Plus, you wouldn't even rub soap on your face. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. So they, what were we talking about? I for Taxes four. about everything in tax, like income oh, right. taxes. Yeah. So when you get paid, you pay income tax. Then you go buy something- you're paying sales tax on it. So now the money that you have left over, which is only like 60%, you go buy something, you got to pay income tax on it. Then you make, you, you're you paying tax everywhere you go. So your your dollar ends up turning into being like 17 cents or Walking something Walking like taxes, 17 cents. Because then you buy a house, you got to pay property tax, then you pay the school tax, then all these other things, you get taxed out the But if ass. there is car taxes, then the car taxes pay for the road. But the school taxes, what do school taxes pay for? Schools? So you, that but, wouldn't be, yeah. Good. But you all said they shouldn't pay for schools if they're not in school. I don't know. I don't know about that. I have to think about that a little more. I'd have to hear different sides of that debate. I don't really know if I know enough about okay, that. Okay, so that wasn't a Because there still needs topic, to be, I, I, so there still needs to be schools. I, you know, people do still have to have schools there. So somehow you're living in that neighborhood. You want, you said you want to help out and take, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little, I'd have to hear different sides. And I don't really so know enough about it. that ties into the school um, part. So if, it said if your kids are not in school, like we aren't, and there's not, well, I mean, the amount that there is, there is a lot, if you think about it, but with the world population, it's not that much of kids that are homeschooled, so. Mitch, 15th take. There's a lot of writing here. Prior to the pandemic, around 3.4% of the total kindergarten through 12th grade school age population was being homeschooled. By autumn 2020, this had more than doubled to 9%. Half of parents who weren't homeschooling before the pandemic view it more favorably now. Over 300 million children worldwide. 300 million. That's a lot, but... Um, comparing it to the world population, not that much, are being homeschooled. 300 million worldwide were being homeschooled. By 2022, there was a 4.3 million homeschooled children. And in the United States. That one's the United States, right? Um, yeah. No, in the world. 4.3? You just said there were 300 there million in the world or something like that. That's the United States. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four point whatever million was the United States by the end of 2022. Because I remember looking that up and 2021 was only like 3.7. 2020 was like three, two point something. So it kept going up every year. But all right, what does it have to do with being president? You're just giving some, these are interesting facts and statistics. What does it have to do with being president? It's like just the amount of kids that are being homeschooled. If you don't want your kid to go to school, then just homeschool them. It's, it's not like, oh, you'll have to sit with them at home all day and teach them stuff no you just find something that they like find something that's productive and they can learn something from and tell them to go work on it tell them to learn new stuff about that so that's why i'm giving these statistics and there's a total of two billion kids so make it more of a normalized thing is what i'm hearing you say like make it more of an option like a regular option like almost yeah. 
Yeah, like, and there's because they, they people think it's should, weird. You know, people think that homeschool kids are like odd and strange. Yeah, they're not socialized. Exactly, yeah, they that, make it like a stigma almost, they, like, they should, a, like a something that's encouraged. What's a stigma? Like something that's attached to someone, something bad, like something bad that's attached to you for doing that. Like it makes you weird or, or awkward because you're homeschooled. That's what people, the general first thing people think is, oh, that must be a weird kid. They like live in a cave and, and they they don't have electricity like or something. Like the coods. Cave, I, lear- I know much Basically. more now than I did in school. Obviously. And we've been in school way more years than we have in, we haven't even been in homeschooling year. one year. So yeah, Um. so... By 2022, there's a total of 4.3 million. I can't put it any closer. It doesn't stretch out across the land. By 2022, there's 4.3 million homeschooled children, and there is a total of 2 billion kids under the age of 14 in the world. So that is like nothing compared to the whole entire amount of kids under the age of 14. Okay. All right, so you would oh, wait, make. I'm not done. I'm you'd not make done. You would make more awareness. You can't stat it, statistic us to death. You'd make more awareness. It's just like two more sentences. All right, what? So, according to this place that was talking about this stuff, the National Center for Education Statistics, up to 25 percent of parents who had their kids in public school. They didn't feel like their kids were were safe in school. So 25% of all homeschooled children are because the parents didn't feel like they were safe in... See how better that sounds when you're actually facing it into it? In public school because they thought they were going to get into... Like, they would get caught up in the school shootings and they would do crimes that... Friends that safe doesn't have to mean that like any kind of safety. They yeah. just think it's not safe environment leaving their kid. It's also probably not. They think it's not safe just being around the influence of people that they don't have the same ideals with. Like to me, that's not safe either. So, all right. So we'd make more. Inf- we'd make more awareness of homeschooling versus in school because you see such a huge difference yourself. All right, Tyson. What's something else you would do? All right, I'm gonna go a little we need quick quicker on this versions because yes, Midge yes. really midgifies that stuff like that whole dishwasher scenario. So, prison. How did you- Prison slash drunk driving. So, I'm going to go on to the topic of drunk driving. Here's some more statistics. Every day... It's after 3 o'clock already. Every day in the United States, about 37 people die from drunk driving crashes. That's one person every 39 minutes in the U.S. And then, back in 2021, 13,384 people died in... Drunk driving crashes in in 2021. So, all right, how's that tie into you being president? What does so, that mean? What would you do about to stop that, to help that out, those numbers? That's sort of some crazy freaking numbers from just drunk. Think about that. That many dead people, that many kids' parents didn't come home. And you know, That's usually- also kids too. I know. But you know, usually the person drunk driving, so many times I've heard the story- Doesn't die. They're the ones that survive. Because they're the ones hitting someone in a weird position. And then they have position. to live with that for the rest of their life. And, and they're the ones that they'll kill families or kids or someone's parent who's going home, someone's father that's going and home from work or whatever. Everybody in the car, sometimes if everybody in the car dies, then the drunk driving person, say they have all of their kids in the car. Say they have four kids. Four kids. And all of their kids are in the car. They're, they bring your kid to work day or... They're bringing their kids to school and they get in a car crash where it kills everybody in the car. Four kids dead and the father. You said all that just to say four kids dead? We got that. You said just start with four kids dead. Huh? That doesn't make okay. sense. I'm giving you a doing. That he doesn't deserve a doing. If anything, you deserve yourself a doing. Yeah. Started with four yes, kids you said four kids die in a car and then you talked about it building up for like 10 minutes and then you said... Four and then kids, it turns four, out four kids died in the car. So, so all those the drunk driving. I bet you, if the if the government as I, if I was a president, if I was a president, you would be if you raise the like the cost penalty, uh, the penalty, yeah, the penalty of jail until until you're dead, then no one's gonna drunk drive anymore. Raise the pen what? Raise the penalty. Ra- raise the penalty in jail. You could just say jail for life. Jail for life. Jail yeah, for that's life. what I meant. Raise the penalty in jail till you're dead. Like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not what I meant. 
Earlier, Tyson was saying you go to jail for 100 years. Or that. that's, that's that's not rational. Or you could say that people go to some people have jail sentences for like 246 years. But they don't. They're not sentenced that. to death, but they're going to jail for 246 years. But they don't. What if they live? Because they had so many different crimes that those added up to those different types of sentences. They're obviously not going to live 246 years. Basically, going to be there till they're dead. But what if they do? So and, and so another, so they, so make them jail for life. I think something Another similar. Weird thing is, Hold on. I think something similar that, yeah, jail for life or maybe the, or death penalty. the first time, if it's death penalty, how many people would be doing it? Or jail or, None. or maybe they lose their license for life. Maybe the first time they lose a license for life, second time they're going to jail for life or something. Just, yeah, but yeah. It's like that. But it's still yeah, that one. It, all it takes is one time for them to kill those four kids. One time drunk okay, driving but, to kill just, those four kids. So how many you, times can you give a person? What you just said doesn't make any sense because you said the first time they do it, they lose their license forever. And the second time they do it, they go to jail forever. But if they lost their license, how I, are they driving? I can't go drive a car even though I don't have a license. Oh, yeah. That's illegal. But so it'd also, be, so it'd be junk driving. Also, ba- you, the death penalty. I'm going to wrap it up. The death penalty that's allowed in states for like lethal injection or whatever, the, 90% of those states are the states that have good gun laws. Ninety percent of them that have the death penalty, yeah, that have good and have good gun laws, like and like the other gun friendly states, have, yeah. And how many states have death penalty? Twenty-seven. So, what you're telling me is I could do a crime in one state that's more than and get out of jail. Of all the fifty states, that's good. But in you're way. you're brilliant. But the point is, so I could do a, a crime in one state and just go to jail, maybe probably jail for life, but I just step over that same imaginary line that now I can't carry my 10 ma- ra- mags- rounds in a magazine and now it's a death penalty. Yeah, the for same like, exact- for, for, for Arizona, for example. For the same exact crime. Yeah. Like, so what would you do as president? I would make it mandatory in or states. Or even if you didn't make- even if you didn't make the decision whether there's a death penalty or not, if there is a death penalty, like maybe you may put a vote to all the different states to get, if there's a death penalty, it's in all the states. Or if there's not a death penalty, I'm not saying you have to make, that's a tough decision for one person to yeah. make. That should be a some kind of Group, decision. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make but at least you would make the rule of, all right, if this is what we're going with, it's going to be the same in the whole country, not just some states this crime is okay and other states it's not. Some states you have 10 rounds and some states you can't. Like that to it, me it, that to it, me I hear I agree with you. That it is doesn't asinine. make sense and it's also the same thing where with where you can have um a gun license because it the the governor's the one who controls the whole state, right? Mm-hmm. The governor sure they're the governor and they they're in charge of the state, but the governor is still under the laws of the president. So did the president so, say that? They're called so, the United sometimes, States, but sometimes you think how it could be much, just it could be it could be much more united. Sometimes it feels like oh, yeah. it feels like sometimes in in when you, you go to different what, sometimes when you go to like different states, it feels like you're in a different country from all the laws and how it looks around. Mostly because how it looks around, but if you really look like into those the open, laws, like those open carry states, when we have concealed carry in some states, and then you cross over into an open carry state, and you could literally have it out in, in the Texas, open on your you're waist. Like, wow. Like, it's like a wild thing. I wouldn't even want to open carry anyway. All right, we need to wrap this up. So just go through, just list off what other things would you, if you had any other topics that you would do and you didn't get to your question because we're out of time. Oh, can I say a quick joke, please? Well, what are your other things as present? Was there, did you have anything else, or you pretty much hit the main ones? No, I, I pretty much hit the Anything main else ones. to add to the present thing? We can't go into them in detail, but you could just say any other. No, we pretty much hit the main things you thought about. All right. Yeah. All right. You have one joke, right? Give me the joke to finish right. off quick. I'm we got to roll. I'm going to do a hard one. You're going to need to use your notebook. Oh, great. What is Looking three sevenths of a chicken, two thirds of a cat, and two fourths of a goat? All right, I'm going to need some time for this one. This one is just. I know. There's no time it's limit gonna, on this one. It's going to take like. Say it again. Three, it's going to take an what hour. Is, Daddy, what is three sevenths of a chicken, two thirds of a cat, and two fourths of a goat? Tr- see if you can figure it out. Pause the video now. See if you can figure it out and unpause. Three sevenths of a chicken, two thirds of a cat. Pause it because if he gets this milk, somehow chicken, quickly. Chicken, meat, protein. Protein. Nope. What is three sevenths of a chicken? Three sevenths of a chicken. I'll give you a hint. No, I don't ask for a hint yet. Okay. Three sevenths of a chicken, two thirds of a cat. With unlimited time ones, they have to ask for a hint. So it's a half it has a to goat. Be like after ten seconds. Cheese, milk, baby. You have to look at the word. 
Shush, shush. You just ruined it. I'll just Two fourths. This is dumb. I. A. What? Nope. I A O. You're onto something. The That's second right. letter, the third letter of chicken's I. The second letter of a three word, three letter word, because there's seven letters in chicken. There's three, Do you want a hint? three letters in cat. I'm talking four letters in goat. So if you said three sevenths of chicken, vowels. Nope. It's I A O. You're onto something though with the letters. Do you want a hint? Yeah. All right. It's what? It's all of the letters that lead up to that. Three sevenths, three sevenths of the chicken. Three of the letter chicken. I mean the word. Not the third, but the three. Three sevenths, not third seven. Chi- Chicago. Chicago. That is so dumb. Ding ding ding! You got it. That is dumb. <laughs> I've kind of figured it out. I've caught on to the letters that there was this many letters in that one, and this many letters in that word. That one was dumb, and I don't know, impossible. All right, we need to wrap this up. We got to take Midge over to tennis practice, right? You have tennis practice, yeah, right? We yeah. got to roll. We got to fly. We got to grab a protein shake and some water, and we got to run. Yep. Anything you want to do? Take the people home while I go shut this down. This, yeah. Just- no excuses. Well, we can't say it super loud into the mic. Smash that subscribe button. Click the notifications bell. bell. Like, share, comment. Subscribe. You said that like 10 times. Yeah, so. Just subscribe, please. Share. Fall for more. No No one told you yet today. You are freaking awesome. No No excuses. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up. I ain't never give it up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up. I ain't never give it up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you.